Mouse Mods here, and today I've got this crazy idea to make an up inductrix fly upside down. So yeah, it should be pretty cool. Um, hopefully, I don't have to do anything to the motors as I really like them where they are. But um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the props around and hit that flight controller and make that upside go upside down. So I'm going to have to unplug everything, flip it all around, and we should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and keep you updated, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so I finished it up. Um, and as you can see, it kind of looks like a normal inductrix uh, from the top, but as you can see, the props are flipped over to maximum lift efficiency. I tried to do it with the props um, just no what they would be normally, so they'd be lifting uh, upside down, but I found that that didn't work. So, actually, it works perfectly. You can see all the controls are the same. I did have to do a little bit of toying with motor placement and things like that but everything worked out well. So I had to use these four blade props rather than the normal three blades because as you can notice, actually, um, basically you can see here that, that there's a little hole at the top of the four blade prop where the three blade prop does not have one. So I was actually able to slide the motor shaft through this hole to make it lift. So let's go ahead and get some flight footage. All right, so you can see the inductors is over there on the workbench, which is really messy right now. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and power it up and show you how it works. As you can see, it's actually quite nimble upside down, although the SC board was not designed for this. So, yeah, that's pretty much the battery on this board, but um, basically all that you just saw here was the inductors flying upside down. Alright, last but not least, to wrap up, uh, this was a really cool build, and I'm really surprised that it worked out. So this is super, super cool. I was just thinking about if I could do this a few minutes ago, and bam, it's already done. A lot of my projects take forever to do, like this hoop on, I had to do a lot of um, design of what I would do to... Um, do the conversion on it and that took a long time but this just worked it was one of my second first or second ideas um, about how this would work so a little bit of trial and error and we got it so th if you have any questions no this will not be a permanent arson uh, permanent have a permanent spot in my RC arsenal um, because I like my tiny whoop and I'm gonna, as soon as this video is over it's gonna be converted right back to a um, normal tiny whoop so that I can get my VTX and fly normally. As you know, this is my uh, normal one. So I do have my line of sight whoop um, that is right here. That basically what happened was I was trying to make it into one of these, but a small problem where I uh, actually accidentally pulled out the motors too hard and ripped all the cords off happened. And then uh, I tried to disassemble this piece right here which is the end of a motor to resolder on some wires and actually it all just blew up in my face so i have to get some new motors and a new uh, flight controller for this thing and then it's going to actually I'm pl i have plans to convert it into an upside down whip because i think this is super cool no matter where you're coming from in the rc world um you must agree that this is a pretty cool build so yeah um i will uh put some more flight footage um, in a link down below to another video that will hopefully be um, coming out soon. And yeah, so if you have any questions about what I did, how I did it, or if you want to see a little bit more about this, then be sure to comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next video.